Hello friends, this video on transport in plants part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Talk about the transport in xylem. So what is xylem, what all they transport and how do they transport the different mechanisms behind xylem transport. Now before we start with the xylem transport, let us have a quick recap of the xylem structure, whatever we have studied in our earlier classes. Now, when you look at the name xylem, it is derived from a Greek word xylon. And xylon means wood. So, from there you got the word xylem. They are mostly dead cells. Most of them are dead. They are made up of several elements or several components, most of which are again dead. So, let us quickly see what are those elements. Tracheids and vessels. Tracheids and vessels are the tube-like structures which actually help in conducting uh, water from one place to another. So they are like pipe-like structures. So here you can see this is the structure of a tracheid which is cylindrical in shape with tapering ends. And this is the structure of a vessel which is wider when compared to a tracheid. Both of them have small pore-like structures on their surface which are called pits. Through pits, they are able to communicate with each other. So, the xylem has many such tracheids and vessels which act as the conducting structures. So, they are tubular structures. They conduct water and minerals vertically. Because in case of xylem, only one vertical conduction is more important. Because the root system of the plant will directly get water from the soil. But all other portions, they are present above. So, the water and minerals need to be conducted vertically upwards. So tracheids and vessels help in doing that. Next is xylem parenchyma. They do not help in store. Uh, they help in conducting water. Instead, they help in storage of food. And the last one is xylem fibers, which are again dead cells, and they just help in mechanical support. So tracheids, vessels, xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers are the important elements of which xylem is made up of. Out of these tracheids and vessels are the only ones which help in transport in plants. The other two are help in help, they just help in support. One gives some structural support and the other one gives some support by storing some food. So now the question is how do plants absorb water? So when we talk about absorbing water, it is not only the root hairs which will absorb water and then directly it will go to other parts. It doesn't happen like that. Now inside root also you have so many different layers of root. So it is not only the root here where the water has to reach, it also need to reach the deeper layers of root. So that from there it can move up to the stem and then from stem it can go to leaves. So that is how the water has to be uh, transported to different parts of the plant. So in the root there are small hair like structures or thread like structures something like this. So these thread like structures help in water absorption from the soil. Now how the root hairs help to absorb because they are very thin they are very thin walled, they are step many in number, so the surface area increases. There are several root hairs. So surface area will increase, therefore absorption will increase. They are very small as well as very thin walled. So all these things together help the root hairs to absorb more and more water from the soil. Now, before we talk about how xylem will transport water to different parts of the plant, first of all, water should enter inside the plant body. So the Entry gate for water into the plant body is through the root hairs. So this absorption of water which happens by the root hairs, it happens by the process of diffusion. That is the water moves from region of high concentration to low concentration. Sometimes it also moves from region of low concentration to high concentration because in diffusion also you have different types of diffusion. It can be active transport, it can be simple diffusion, it can be facilitated diffusion. So this water absorption phenomenon take place by the process of diffusion. Now depending upon the concentration in the soil and in the root hairs, the type of diffusion is decided. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.